Impervious, Emser Tile's new exclusive shower system is a closed cell XPS foam core product with a rigid exterior cement coating. This technology used with joint sealant produces a fully waterproof system, allowing for same day tile installation. This video will demonstrate how to properly install the shower pan, niche, and building a custom bench from a two inch wallboard. Measure the length of the shower space and subtract from the length of the pan. Divide that number by two and cut that amount from each side of the pan. Recut the factory notch 1 4th inch deep and 1 half inch wide on any cut edges. The notch must be recut on any side where it is trimmed away in order to ensure a proper seal around the shower pan. We recommend using a circular saw set for 1 4th inch depth to make a cut on the top of the shower pan, a half inch in from the new edge. Standing the pan on one end, use a straight edge and a sharp utility knife to make a 1 4th inch deep cut half inch in from the top of the pan to complete the notch. Dry fit the shower pan to your shower floor and mark the position of the drain on the floor. Cut the drain hole in the floor. Mix your choice of polymer modified thinset according to the manufacturer's instructions. Apply a thinset to the floor with a minimum 3 8 inch notched trowel. Make sure the trowel lines are pulled straight towards the curbside of the shower opening and that the trowel lines do not cross, ensuring that air can escape and creating a more even bond. Next, you will install the drain body. Set the pan upright on its side so that you have access with one hand on either side of the pan. Place a solid bead of approved sealant to the top of the pan in the stepped flange area. Place the brass drain body into the center hole and press down slightly to set the drain into the flange. From the other side of the pan, place the rubber gasket around the drain body and thread the locking ring onto the drain body and hand tighten until snug. Apply a thin layer of thin set to the back of the pan and smooth out with the straight edge of the trowel. Set the pan in place and apply pressure by standing on the pan to set into the thin set. Move around the pan until it is fully seated. Seat the rubber compression seal, chamber side up, over the pipe until the top of the seal is flush with the top of the 2 inch drain pipe. Fasten the key to a flathead screwdriver with tape to ensure the key does not fall into the drain pipe. It is best to fasten the key to a flathead screwdriver to avoid dropping into the drain pipe. Thread the compression ring into the drain body and turn with the screwdriver until the seal is firmly seated and compressed to seal the pipe. Measure the walls and cut the wallboard to length starting on the bottom row, ensuring that the end of each wallboard is supported by a stud. Apply a solid bead of approved sealant to the notch on the pan. Insert the wallboard at a slight angle while pushing down firmly on the top to seat wallboard fully into the notch. There should be enough sealant in the notch that excess sealant will squeeze out. Fasten the wallboard to the studs with approved screws and washers starting 12 inches up from the pan. Continue placing screws and washers every 12 inches along each stud until the sheet is fully secured. To complete the installation of the second row and so on, apply a solid bead of sealant to the exposed edges of foam to ensure a proper waterproof seal.
Apply a solid bead of approved sealant to the notch on the pan and on the floor where the curb will be installed and at the corner where the pan meets the floor and on the adjacent wallboard vertically in the corner. Apply a thin set to the floor where the curb will be installed, ensuring that you leave a half inch strip at the edge of the pan to accommodate the sealant. Back butter the bottom of the curb with thin set. Carefully place the curb into position, pushing down to seat the curb. Apply a generous bead of sealant to the corner where the pan and wallboards meet and smooth the sealant with corner putty knife. Starting from one end, push your straight putty knife firmly into the corner to secure the tape while pulling the corner putty knife along the entire edge to smooth out the sealant and bury the mesh tape. Repeat for all sides of the shower pan. Ensure you have enough sealant to cover one inch on either side. Cover remaining screws with approved sealant. Mesh tape is required at the change of plane from the shower base to the walls, but it is optional for the vertical joints and between the wall boards. Be sure to add another layer of sealant over your tape and smooth out with your putty knife. Place the niche edges on the marks for the stud centers and place a level on the edge of the niche to ensure proper positioning. Trace the outline of the niche. Use a utility knife to cut the wallboard out completely. Place a continuous solid bead of sealant on all exposed foam edges on the wallboard. Install niche into the opening and smooth out excess sealant with the putty knife. Install the impervious screws and washers at each corner as well as the vertical seams every 12 inches. Apply a final half inch solid bead of sealant around the entire seam and smooth out with a putty knife ensuring all washers are completely covered.
Cut the two inch board to customize a shower bench. Apply sealant to all of the seams between the custom size board and install to the wall corner. Apply sealant to all seams between the walls, pan, and the bench. Smooth out the sealant with corner putty knife. You can use the black riser to adjust the height of the drain cover if necessary. Adjust the height of the riser according to the tile thickness and make sure the tile is level with the drain frame. Thank you for watching the impervious shower installation video. All of our instruction guides, technical documents, and specifications can be found on imperviousystems.com. If you have further questions, please contact your local Emser sales representative or email us at imperviousinfo at emser.com.